Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I just wanted to give you my experience from the perspective now from a person wanting to hire a coder for doing a quant uh, trading strategy um, and just give you my experience and my thoughts on it. So here we have a, a PDF, a research paper with uh, a, a complete strategy from Deutsche Bank uh, which explains everything uh, about this. So if you go through it, you'll get some conditions, some charting, uh, all the algorithms, as you can see here, as well as some other stuff. Now, there's not a perfect way to do stuff in terms of strict training strategy, but the whole point of this was to just come up with a basis of code and use that as logic to apply to future uh, trading models in C++. I'm sure it will take a bit of work, but anybody that may be really, really good at this would be able to come away with um, uh, some uh, um, good value, hopefully. So uh, what I did was I posted this on my forum here. Uh, I did get a number of responses, but I just got a response yesterday which uh, from this person, the very last one, which completely um, justifies the that this is an exercise to learn and then there's some other uh, really helpful understandings of uh, from the industry and what you should know about it. So check that out. I'll put all the links in, in the blog posting. Now, also I put it on my blog as well. Um, and here's some responses, some negative criticisms as well. Fair, fair enough. Um, so, wh what can we learn from this? Well, a lot of people showed interest, uh, like this person and this person and... Uh, nobody ever followed up so because of that that doesn't help you get a job or any experience for doing it because I know if you have seen my uh, job outlook a few weeks ago on quant trading researching computer coding kind of jobs not a lot of them out there and not only that it's against you as well because you have an oversupply of uh, candidates and I did talk to one of the recruiting guys over at the CQF, the Certified Quant Finance uh, Program, they're, they're, they're experiencing the same thing. So there's an oversupply of people that do this. And I just put up a posting yesterday on a school that's also teaching you on how to do high frequency trading. So that's lesson one. If you ever get a message, please follow up. I, and don't worry about me, but any recruiter. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of astonished by that. And then, of course, I did a, a, a Craigslist ad right here. Um, here's some of the responses I got through that. Um, don't ask me why I get people like this. This is from one. I do e-commerce, XML, SEO, WordPress. I don't even know why. They put a condition on how you're supposed to email them. Please. I think it's some overseas response. It doesn't have anything to do with the job description. Um, here's an interesting one. A couple of questions about... Uh, following up on those theorems uh, in the PDF, fair enough, but again, uh, no response thereafter. Uh, so I guess we didn't proceed from there. And then we get into uh, compensation. Now, I was not going to be paying $1,500 of cash, but I was going to be giving as a compensation as entry into my Quant Elite membership, which is worth $1,500. Now, they get that forever and ever, amen. So uh, if they uh, are tapping into, or I can I, I can use them to tap into other potential offerings uh, for coding uh, needs. Uh, they would be the number one pick, I would imagine. Now, because of that, uh, no one went for it, which is fine. But you know, we're 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 have about probably five capital providers w waiting on the sidelines to see where we go from here uh, in terms of uh, coding up. Um, or sorry, starting up a private prop shop or fund or something. Well, not a fund, but a prop shop, basically. And um, so money will be there. It'll be C capital, large C capital. So we'd definitely be paying market rates for people to do this type of job. So this is uh, essentially a test that would lead into that. But again, no one went for it. So they went with a short-sighted way of having things like uh, $1,500. This would cover me only about 300 Three, sorry, three days of work at a rate I would be expected to be compensated. So you want to be paid 500 bucks a day. Now remember, this is just one trading strategy. Okay. Another one was, um, I don't know what it includes. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth $1,500 to me. 
Um, need more info on this. Well, I put the links there. Um, now this guy, same this is from somebody with my community one, 120 an hour. That's fine if he's getting that. That's uh, 12 and a half hours work. Um, but he's not sure about the length of time it would take to do this, so he's worried about it might lead into um, actually lowering his hourly rate. From my perspective as a coder, you should be able to size out the uh, job before taking it on and you know exactly what you're dealing with uh, and then calculate your hourly rate from that. So uh, to go in with uh, just billing uh, 120 an hour and however long it takes you to do it, um, I don't know if, if uh, real world uh, um, employers would go for that um, as well as if you're learning this stuff. Um, not sure if that would be counted as an hourly rate, I don't know, but I've been in the field for a long time. So, in essence, we're going nowhere with this. Uh, my biggest fear is, and if anybody's wanting to go down the same approach, you're trying to start up their own shop, uh, to develop their own automated trading platforms, their own trading systems. This is These are the rates that people are expected to pay. $500 a day, uh, 120 an hour. Okay, and then again, that's just for one strategy, let alone if it works, if it will be properly coded, if it will be properly documented, and you can actually translate that to something that's very useful. I'm not saying that these people are not able to do that or deliver that, but it's just things that you need to consider. So, I come away with a very important lesson from this. There are three letters, any person that is learning this stuff, want to do this stuff, three very important letters. First letter, D, I, Y. What does it stand for? Do it yourself, okay? That's why I do MATLAB. I'm gonna show you in a new, another video what I plan to do about this, and it's gonna take away a lot of these kind of coding and payment concerns, and uh, I do firmly believe in that, and uh, that is something you should do if you're planning to go down this path. All right, which means you also have to be highly driven. Talk to you later.